You know, even in normal times, there's no priority higher here at Purdue than safety. Uh, physical safety of our students and members of the community, safety from the anguish of harassment or racism, something we're all so much more conscious of in this year, which has seen such unconscionable brutality and injustice. And in this year, safety from another new threat, the novel virus we know as COVID-19. Now, a lot has changed uh, since our last message. It's now clear that the vast majority of American colleges and universities will be resuming operations this fall. The question is no longer whether to come back. The question is how best to do it. How can Purdue uh, do the best job possible of resuming its educational mission, serving its students, but doing so uh, securely and confidently and safely? There were all kinds of changes. Uh, those of you who are returning students will have as much to adjust to as our brand new freshmen do. Dorm rooms, dining courts, classrooms like this will all look very different. But what the data have told us is that uh, all the physical changes and policy changes we can make cannot do as much and cannot succeed without behavioral changes that we all must adapt to at least for a time. And so we've asked each student and community member to embrace the Protect Purdue Pledge, a very specific list of behavioral um, agreements that taken together will allow us to protect ourselves, protect each other, protect the broader community. We're talking about monitoring one's own symptoms and reporting them if they uh, suggest there might be an infection taking part in testing and tracing so that we can absolutely minimize any spread, uh, masking and other social distance measures uh, indoors and in many cases beyond. And uh, unlike many pledges, which are passive, I won't cheat, not that hard to abide by those, this one's very active and makes demands and we wish we didn't have to do it, but we know we must if we're going to pursue our mission with the, the safety that I keep emphasizing. So I have two requests for each student. Now please review all the precautions that we've taken. And uh, having done so, if you're still not comfortable uh, coming in person, that's fine. We have an online option we have built for you, which will allow you to progress until that time when you can feel fully comfortable. On the other hand, if you're in that very large majority that's indicated you do plan to be here on campus, please stop and ask yourself, am I prepared to pitch in and comply with the inconveniences of this pledge? We know it's unfair, but this won't be the last time in life you encounter unfairness. We're not gonna like it any better than you do, and we will look forward very much to the day when we can be done with these impositions and resume normal operations. Um, if you do come, you do participate, uh, we will be very grateful and you will uh, have the satisfaction for a very long time of knowing you played an essential part in a very significant achievement. See you in August.